Hey guys, it's Professor Prime here at MiterPlanet.com and today we're taking a look at another toy from the MonsterVerse Godzilla XCOM, the new Empire line. Today we are taking a look at Scar King with Whiplash. Let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. It is an amazing package. No, I'm just kidding. It's the same package we've seen the last two videos that I've done. Same artwork. You know, I'm kind of disappointed that they didn't change the artwork. But it is what it is, guys. And same thing, we've got the evil Scar King rules over the fiery Hollow Earth Kingdom, wielding a whiplash that commands an unstoppable army to destroy Godzilla and Kong and conquer the world. This is super cool, guys. Now, I am doing this review after I have seen the film. I've seen the film. I won't spoil too much for you guys. Actually, I'm not going to spoil it at all. But I will say that his characterization was was solid. It was solid. I liked it. I like how it's removable. So let's go ahead and let's get him out of the packaging. All right, guys, here is Scar King out of his packaging. He's a heavy figure. He's a very top heavy figure. Straight out of the box, he would not stand. So I had to lean him forward just a little bit. So let's go ahead and let's take a look at his accessory. It pops up pretty easily. Oh, it's still got a little piece tied onto it. So let's take a look at the accessory. He's got this like lash thing, like whiplash that he has in the movie. Now I will say this, this toy does not spoil it. There is something in the movie that, that deals directly with this that did not spoil it. I'm actually super happy for that. He does fit in his hand right here. This kind of, it just kind of plugs in and then he can hold it over his head. He's very top heavy. He does not stand very well. I will, I will say that. Unfortunate, but yeah, he won't, he will stand. Okay, there we go. We got him. It looks cool. It looks really cool, guys. And then just to put it back on, you just kind of wrap it around. You plug it in just like that. Yeah, you can just plug it in. It doesn't really matter where you plug it in at. It just kind of plugs in, pops in, and there you go. Let's take a look at the articulation. One thing I will say about this figure, and this is something that all these figures in this line have said, that they are fully articulated. This guy is the most articulated figure we have gotten so far. I, I love it. Let's take a look at the arms. You got full arm bin. You got every everything you could ask for when it comes now and when it, i mean he does have a little bit of limitations because of the molding but and like for the arm articulation it's about the same as is uh con which is not too bad and then the same thing he's got a closed fist which again open hand or be able to close it would have been cool but you know he can spin it around just like that and then the one thing that he has that none of the other figures have he has an ab crunch that is that is really cool and then he has for the most part, fully articulated legs, but he has no like toe or foot articulation that does make it kind of hard for him to stand or put him in some you know decent poses, but you can technically put him like in a running pose. Now his head articulation is we gotta take off the whip for this, but he can basically turn his head left and right. It is hindered with the uh, whip on. But he has no forward motion. That's just unfortunate. I wish he'd had a little bit of a forward motion so that you could actually do like the running pose. I feel that would be that would be something that I would have liked to have seen on this figure, but unfortunately we, we don't have it. Now let's take a look at the head sculpt. The head sculpt is really cool. I, I, I really like it. It really looks like the character from the film. And, and, and he's very stocky too. Like a lot of times he's like standing up like a human. And, and he has a lot of mannerisms that were really cool. And some of those mannerisms that he showed off in the film do come across in this toy. And I really, really love that. But let's go ahead. Let's see how he fares with the rest of the line. Here he is with Godzilla Evolved. Here he is with Kong with the Beast Glove. And here they are together. Here he is with Godzilla from the show on air. Here he is with Shin Godzilla. And here he is with Godzilla from King of the Monsters. And again, these were these last few figures are NECA figures, so they are going to be more highly articulated and all that craziness. Final thoughts, guys. Scar King, he's a really cool figure. I'm really impressed with the sculpting, the paint, and just the molding of the overall figure. I do like how the whiplash actually, like, 
it's molded in a way where you can raise it up as I have it right here and it looks like it's in motion. I really, really like that. A lot of times with figures, you like weapon accessories like this, they're very loose and they don't have a lot of like girth to them where they will hold in place. So I really, I really can appreciate and I really do enjoy how stocky he looks and very much changing the way he looks because he is a chimpanzee, whereas Kong is a, is a gorilla, gorilla ape, you know. So I really do like the symmetry and, and the change of how he looks in compare of his size. Now, granted, I do feel like from the film, he was a little bit bigger than Kong, like in terms of his height. And it could just be the how he presented himself and the angles in the film that just portrayed him to be a lot larger than I think he actually is. And that, again, it could be just the artistic style of the film. I really did like this figure, guys. It's going to look really good with the collection. I'm going to kind of put a little, little, like, small little diorama thing, I think, together with these guys. And while I understand that these are made for four and up, they're not expensive. You can get these at your local Walmart, Target, or any other online retailer for about $9.97 a piece. They are the I would say entry level figures for this line of the MonsterVerse for Godzilla X Kong the New Empire. I think what I really enjoy about this figure is how imposing he is, which I think is really, really cool. And I really like that. And speaking of like, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button while you're watching the video at this point so I know that you watch the video all the way to the end. I can't wait for NECA or maybe even SH Figure Arts to tackle some of these characters and give them like premium finishes and premium like articulation and stuff like that, guys. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, check out this video right here. And as always, guys, until next time.